The Ambernic RG552 has been officially released or announced by Ambernic themselves. Today we're going to go over some information that was revealed from this promotional video that they just put out. So the screen of the RG552 is a 5.36 inch IPS touch screen. The resolution is a little over 1080p which is good so games are going to look really sharp and crisp on this um, device. It has a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. The operating system is Android and there's also a Linux based system which will probably be running like EMU um, or EMELEC, EMUIL ELEC. And this device has a dual analog stick with 360 degree um, in motion. It has a nice big D-pad, A, B, X, Y face button, start and select on the front. It has two bumper buttons, L1 and L2 and R1 and R2. The device is powered by the Hexacore 1.8 GHz RK339 um, CPU, which should um, increase performance um, pretty good. So you'll be able to play a lot more like PSP games, but that is left to be seen from um, testing. Um, let's talk about ports that I've seen on this device. Um, some of the ports are two USB ports, um, a headphone jack. It looks like it's going to have two SD card slots and a micro um, HDMI out for like um, connecting this device to the TV. It does have a built in heatsink and a um, turbo fan in the device to keep it cool, um, which is pretty nice. Overall, the design of the handheld looks pretty good and I'm very um, excited about this. As it goes for like RAM, I don't expect this device to have more than um, four gigabytes of RAM. I know this wasn't um, talked about in the video, but from like previous devices that Amber Nick put out, I wouldn't expect them to put more than four gigabytes. Um, in their handout so this video pretty much confirms that the Ambernic RG552 will be released very soon probably within the next two to three months so I'll say around February of 2022 maybe March the latest we should have this um, handled um, in our hands um, let's talk about price for this handle um, what I can expect the price range to be this device is going to come in at around $150 minimum, but it won't exceed $200. They're trying to keep the cost low, and that's why they went with the RK3399 um, chipset, which is a hexacore 1.8 gigahertz um, CPU. This would be good for like um, emulation up to PSP. I'm not sure if this will be able to do GameCube very well. But I could do some checks on that. I'm not really sure if it would do um, GameCube very well because I'm not really familiar with the GPU that is inside of this handle. However, I still think that this will be a solid buy. It would be a big upgrade over the Ambernic um, RG351MP, which is rocking that old rock chip processor. So yeah that's pretty much going to um do it for the video here guys um leave your comments down below let me know if you're excited for this handheld let me know if you're going to pick this up once it comes out um some gpu information that i'm seeing here right before where i go on the rk3399 is that it's a mali t860 mp4 and it has four execution units 64 um, GPU shading units and is clocked in at a max clock of 700 megahertz. We should be able to give you some decent performance. And yeah, so it's going to be clocked at 1.8 gigahertz, but this chipset, it can turbo up to 2 gigahertz. So I'm just going to leave it right there, guys. Um, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think about this handle. Are you excited for it? Um, will you be picking one up or will you be waiting for something more powerful like the AYN Odin handle or will you be picking up something like the GPDXP 
are you waiting on the KRT1 whichever handle you're waiting for or whichever device that you're thinking about picking up let me know in the comment section down below subscribe to the channel if you like my videos and I'll catch you in the next one peace